is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of hooking up a database to an adaptive form through a data integration. In a previous video, I showed you how to upload an OSGI bundle that included your database drivers and then create a configuration to that database. This video will use that configuration to create a form data model. Let's begin by logging into Adobe Experience Manager. From here, I'll navigate to Forms and then Data Integrations, and we'll create a new form data model. Here, we'll give our form data model a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Database Connection. We'll click Next. And then as a data source, we'll select the configuration that we set up in the previous video, My Database. I'll hit the Create button, and that'll open up our form data model for editing. I can see here I've got access to my database. If I unfurl this, I can see all of the different tables in my database. The table I'm interested in is under AEM Forms, the schema, and I'm going to select the person table under the AEM Forms schema and add that to my canvas. I'm going to save immediately to make sure all of my changes have been saved. Then I can select that person table and click Edit Properties to identify a read service and a write service. Over here in the Edit Properties panel, I can select a read service. In this case, we've got one to choose from, which is get. It's automatically selected person ID as the argument. You can see here person ID is the main key for our table, the main index that we're using. I do want to click the arrow beside person ID, though, to select the binding type, which in this case is going to be literal, and binding value, which I'll set to 1. We can also select our write service here, and there's a number of different write services we can select from, insert, update, and delete. In this case, we're going to create a new form that inserts users to our database table. So I'm going to select insert for our write service and click done. Once again, I'm just going to save my changes, and then we'll make sure that this form data model is working. I'm going to select the person object and select test model, and then we'll click the test button and make sure that we're getting some results back from our database. And I can see here we are getting the first record back from our person database. So with our form data model set, let's create a brand new form that can insert new users to our database. To do that, I can close my form data model editor, go back to the forms interface, and navigate to forms, and then forms and documents. We'll create a brand new adaptive form by clicking Create and then Adaptive Form. And I'll select a blank template to start with here. Click Next. And we'll call this form uh, Add New User because we're going to be adding users to our database. Before hitting Create, though, I do want to choose my form model. So I'll click Form Model. And from the drop down list box, I'm going to choose Form Data Model. And then I'll select that database connection that we just created as our form data model. Once that's done, I can hit Create to open up my form in editing mode. We've now got our form opened in editing mode. I've got access to all of the form components here, so I can start dragging some fields onto the form. But since we've got a form data model associated with our form, I can use that to add my fields. And you'll see here all of the different columns in my database table are available here. So I can simply drag on first name and last name and email address to add those to my form. Now I can go ahead and edit these labels if I'd like. In this case, I'm just going to leave them. But I will add a submit button by scrolling down to that component in my side, sidebar and dragging it onto my form. Before testing this, we want to make sure that we're submitting this form to our new data source. To do that, I'm going to make sure that I've got the form component selected. And I can see here, I've actually got the submit button selected. So I'm going to choose the parent, which is the adaptive form component, then select the configure button. Now, there are a number of different ways that we can configure this form. But if I scroll down, I've got a section for submission. And here on Submission, I've got a Submit Action. I'm going to change that to the Submit Using Form Data Model so that we'll associate it with the database. I now need to select that data model to submit it to, though. So I'm going to hit Browse and then select the Person Object 
and click OK to save my changes and that check mark once again to make sure that everything is saved. We've now got our form ready to test. I'm going to close it out from the editor, select it, and then hit Preview as HTML. We'll test this out by adding a new user. And we've now created a brand new form that's associated with our local database to add new users to a specific table. You can see here we've got the new user inserted into the database table itself. And that's how easy it is to associate your adaptive form with a database using Adobe Experience Manager. Thanks for your time.